live from the Starfield International Ballroom of the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Welcome to the 68th Annual Golden Globe Awards. And now, your host for the evening, ladies and gentlemen, Ricky Gervais. Thank you. It's going to be a night of partying and heavy drinking. <laughs> or as Charlie Sheen calls it, breakfast. <laughs> wow. Whoa. So, let's get this straight. What he did was, he, uh, he picked up a porn star, um, paid her to have dinner with him, uh, introduced her to his ex-wife, as you do, uh, <laughs> uh, went to a hotel, uh, got, got drunk, got naked, trashed the place, while she was locked in a cupboard. And uh, <laughs> that was a Monday. What, what did he do New Year's Eve? It was a big year for 3D movies, Toy Story, Despicable Me, Tron. Seems like everything this year was three-dimensional. Except the characters in The Tourist. But the only reason The Tourist was nominated was so the Hollywood Foreign Press could hang out with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. That is, that is rubbish. That is not the only reason. They also accepted bribes. Let's... <laughs> All that happened was some of them were taken to see Cher in concert. How the hell is that a bribe? Really? Do you want to go and see Cher? No. Why not? Because it's not 1975. There were a lot of big films that didn't get nominated this year. Nothing for Sex in the City 2. Um, no, I was sure the Golden Globe for special effects would go to the team that airbrushed that poster. Also not nominated, I love you, Philip Morris. Um, Jim, Jim Carrey and Ewan McGregor, two heterosexual actors pretending to be gay. So the complete opposite of some famous Scientologist then. Talking of The Walking Dead, congratulations to Hugh Hefner, who, uh, <laughs> who's getting married at the age of 84. Um, when she was asked why she was marrying him, she said, because he lied about his age. <laughs> he told me he was 94. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, don't worry. Hold out and just, just don't look at it when you touch it. That's the creator of Facebook, of course, Mark Zuckerberg, is reportedly worth seven billion dollars. Heather Mills calls him the one that got away. Many of you in this room probably know him best from such facilities as the Betty Ford Clinic and Los Angeles County Jail. Please welcome Robert Downey Jr. OK. What can I say about our next two presenters? The first is an actor, producer, writer and director whose movies have grossed over three and a half billion dollars at the box office. He's won two Academy Awards and three Golden Globes for his powerful and varied performances starring in such films as Philadelphia, Forrest Gump, Castaway, Apollo 13 and Saving Private Ryan. The other is Tim Allen. 